For the last five years, our next guest has been a star of the show Search Party, but, you know, all parties have to come to an end. The fifth and final season of Search Party is on HBO Max now. Please say hello to Meredith Hagner. <laughs> figured out it's Guillermo's reverse quinceanera because 51 <laughs> flipped over is 15, right? That's right, Jimmy. Yeah, so thanks for going and greeting Happy him. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank did you. you meet Johnny Knoxville backstage? Oh, I did. I mean, I was a little geeked out. But Were you? Oh, are you? Huge, huge Jackass fan. Do you think, you know, do you think, because we are just talking about Rachel Wilson is in the movie now. Yeah, oh, cool. It's a co-ed situation. Would that be something that you would be comfortable being a part of? I mean, if by comfortable you mean so excited that I pass out, oh yeah, I would have, I would have. Well, everybody passes out, but usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, every, everybody <laughs> almost dies. And for those who don't know, your husband's Wyatt Russell. He's been here before. Yeah. Uh, his whole family has been here, mm -hmm. really. I mean, his sisters, brothers, bunch of up and parents. Comers. And I would think that when you're <laughs> in a group like that, yeah. that it would be hard, be hard to impress anyone, really. Yeah. And yet, you guys, and I know this because um, I work at ABC, <laughs> not only are you fans of The Bachelor, you yeah. and Wyatt, but you even went to the after the final rose ceremony. Yeah, we did. At whose I, I assume that was your idea? It was, well, you know what's interesting? I, when we started dating, I was like, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I'm into the show. My husband's like, yeah, it, it's not for me. And then, like, maybe smoked a joint. And um, <laughs> within five minutes, is like crying. He's literally like, the way he talks to his mom, like, she has to pick him. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's Bachelor Nation. And you know how, so I got, I surprised him with, with the, with the, um, being an audience member of the final rose ceremony for Ari and Lauren's season. Oh, so he didn't know he was going. No. And you know how there's always one, like, guy in a red cardigan in a sea of women at the table? Yeah, right. So right. I also was selfishly like, this is going to be really fun for me to, like, watch him, like, in the audience. like. And so he's, like, pacing around. He's, like, really excited to be here, but I just want to really make sure I'm not on camera. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, Mr. Hollywood, like... <laughs> Too cool to be on camera at The Bachelor. And I just, his energy around it was really funny. Like, I don't blame him. It's, yeah. So I was like, okay, be cool. Like, no one cares. But I, but I also was like secretly wanted. Anyway, so then they seat us with the family, which is what huge. What family? With the... Lauren's family. Oh. Because remember, he was with Becca. No. And then, no. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, it was a really dramatic season. I have white pill. I don't have any room for any of this <laughs> in my brain. I, I really shouldn't. It's really embarrassing that I do. But anyway... It was he was he proposed to Lauren. We're seated with the family. Meanwhile, my husband's been like, I'm not going to be on camera. Do I have to sign anything just to double check? I'm not going to be on camera. I'm an actor. And um, I literally he proposes. The family's crying, and then I feel the camera slowly zooming in on my husband. Oh boy! So I get the giggles really bad. <laughs> in, this this is their like the biggest moment of their life. They're getting engaged, and I'm in the back. So he's like pretend to cry. So I'm like giggling and then crying. And, and you did pretend to cry? Yeah. Yeah, so were, they weren't real tears. They weren't. You were acting. Well, you are an actor. I'm an actor. Uh, you were a model beforehand. I was I was a model. I, I had a really huge modeling career. Actually. Yeah, this is, um, now I have to tell you something. <laughs> I'm super impressed by this. I don't know why I think this is pretty great. This is, you were. Yeah. I think actually Kate Upton and Giselle were both in the running, and they actually went with me. You beat them out. Yeah. Did they give you a bunch of post-its uh, when you do something like yeah, this? Yeah, they didn't give me money, but they gave me office supplies. <laughs> That's what all the top models get. Highlighters. Well, this had to be exciting, like to walk into a Staples or something, and then there you are. Not to me, but to my dad. <laughs> oh, was your so dad? So he yeah. got the life-size poster, and like I think my house, like his office. It wasn't huge, but it had a huge poster of me. And then we had a water damage incident with the something broke in the, the washing machine. And it got completely water damaged. Oh. And so I was like, <laughs> and he kept it. <laughs> hey, Dad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sad. Well, hopefully the 3M people are watching and we'll send them a fresh new one. It's me, guys. I made it. <laughs> this is the last season of Search Party. It's, yeah. This is it. Five seasons. It's over. 
The first season was like really a search party. Like you were searching, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the show changed a lot. Did you know like at the end of the first season, did you know you were gonna come back and do another season or more seasons or? I hadn't really done much in terms of paid work other than, um, so I didn't know how <laughs> anything really went. Like, uh, where do I stand? So it's interesting, because you do something like that, and you have, like, like at the end of the series, yeah. you guys have, like, a, a rap party, and then and then you don't know if you're saying goodbye forever or if you're saying goodbye for a couple of months. I, I, I for anybody that watches Search Party, it's, like, a very cool cast. Mm -hmm, yeah, really good. And, yeah. like, I'm maybe not i feel like i'm probably not as cool and so i we had we did have a rap party and i was like you know what i'm gonna get edibles for you got edibles for everyone well, i was like you know what i'm gonna make a cheese board a little dip <laughs> and i'm cool like i'm gonna i'm gonna get some edibles and it was like I, I i think i've done edibles like three times in my adult life and i feel like exactly two years between edible experiences I somehow forget that it's awful and think I can do it again. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've heard. <laughs> so I, I like set out the little gummy bears because I love to host. So I had like my little gummy bears all lined up and everyone's like around my kitchen island. We're all going to walk to the wrap party. It's like 530. It's so uncool. The light, the sun's like coming in. <laughs> and I'm like, great, we're going to do edibles. And they're like, you ate the whole thing? I was like, yeah. And they're like, and now it's only five. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> And so then we start, I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I don't feel anything. And we're like walking to the rap party and it's like a hellscape of New York street. It's like the most disgusting street. And all of a sudden I'm like, this street is gorgeous. <laughs> I was like, the architecture, like look at the colors. The houses are like Easter eggs. And they're like, the houses are Easter eggs. <laughs> are you so sure there was a gummy you ate? And you didn't no. pick a mushroom no. along the way? That's what I say every time I have a gummy, I'm like, Everyone's doing this? <laughs> so anyway, so we go to the party. I don't know anyone I've ever worked with. These are years I've worked with these people. And they're like, and then I started speaking in like greeting cards because it's the way my brain. So I just kept being like, home is where the heart is. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, this is a great run. I'm like, find your bliss, man. <laughs> and then finally, John Reynolds was like, you have to go home. And so they like, get me into a cab. And I laid for 24 hours and was watching the Game of Thrones season with the wildlings. Yeah. Just for some the reason. The Wildings, yeah. yeah I was wildings, just like yeah. in, on the couch, like, and I just couldn't, it was awful. You watched a whole season of Game of Thrones? No, but when I was high, I just kept playing the same episode over and oh. over. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got a good one. <laughs> Meredith Hagner, everybody, search party. The final season is on HBO Max now. We'll be back with the Walters. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.